Today we will talk about a very common equation of chemistry which is called Henderson and Hasselbalch equation. This equation is used in uh, chemistry, biochemistry, biotechnology and everywhere wherever you want to make a buffer solution. And this equation basically relates the uh, concentration of uh, acid and base in a solution with its pH value. That's why when you make a buffer of a constant pH, you apply this equation in order to calculate uh, a concentration of the component which are making buffer. So let's let's see one example. You have a weak acid HA which is being dissociated in solution giving rise to H plus ion and A minus ion. So from this uh, Ka is the dissociation constant, the equilibrium constant for this equation. So Ka would be from can be calculated from the law of mass action which would be equal to H plus ion concentration a, a minus concentration a, a minus is basically is a conjugate salt this is uh, acid H plus ion and this is uh, conjugate salt so K is equal to H plus concentration A minus concentration divided by concentration of HA the acid which is being dissociated so from this equation of equilibrium the H plus ion concentration can be calculated separately so H plus ion concentration would be is equal to Ka into HA divided by A minus. No, because uh, we have to relate this with, to the pH and we know that pH is equal to minus log of H plus ion concentration. So you multiply both sides with minus log base 10. So minus log H plus is equal to minus log Ka plus minus log HA divided by A minus. So when you try to simplify this equation further, minus log H plus ion is equal to pH. So pH is equal to pKa because minus log Ka is equal to pKa plus log A minus divided by HA concentration because this is minus log. So when you make it plus, uh, it will reward. So A minus will go up, HA will come down. So you can further say that pH is equal to pKa plus log a minus is base is a salt is a conjugate salt which is behaving like a base divided by HA is acid so this is the final equation pH is equal to pKa plus log the basic component concentration of base divided by acid this is Henderson Hasselbalch equation and where do you use it you use it to find out uh, concentration of base and acid to make a uh, buffer to make a solution of a specific pH that this is here so this pH basically would depend on concentration the relative concentration of base and acid in a solution pKa pKa is fixed for a given compound which is defined as the pH value where you have 50% uh, ionization of uh, of this acid okay so there are two very obvious uh, applications of Henderson and Hasselbalch equation. One is uh, while preparing buffers. So when you prepare buffers, you mix uh, acid and its conjugate salt or base and its salt. So how much acid and salt or base and its salt to be added in order to make a buffer of particular concentration, particular ionic strength, uh, that also calculated from Henderson and Hasselbalch equation. Second application is if you have any ionizable group, acidic or basic group. So how much that group is existing in ionized state or unionized state at uh, different pH values that also can be calculated. For example, let's talk about uh, aspartic acid. Aspartic acid is an amino acid. Uh, and uh, it has amino group, acid group in the side chain. If you remember the structure of amino acids, the side chain also contains COH group here in case of aspartic acid. Uh, just forget about these main chain groups here. So we'll focus only about the side chain. The side chain group, the pK value of the side chain group of aspartic acid is 3.65. It means if you keep aspartic acid at 3.65 pH, the side chain would be existing in 50% in ionization state, CO minus. So this proton will be lost uh, up to 50% concentration only. Means if you have 100 molecules of aspartic acid, 50% molecule, 50 molecule would be existing in ionization state and 50 would be in protonated state. 
So uh, let's calculate concentration of this uh, ionic state and unionized state, unionized state of aspartic acid side chain at 3.65 pH. 3.65 pH is also called as pKr for aspartic acid because this is pK value of uh, R group, the side group of aspartic acid. So now we want to calculate the concentration of this ionization state and fraternity state at 3.65 pH value. So simply put these numbers into Henderson and Hasselbach equation. Uh, so pH is equal to pK plus log of ionization. It was base divided by acid. So in both the cases, this is base, which needs to have proton, is missing proton, lacking proton. And this is acidic component. So it will be down, you call it an ionized state. So pH is equal to pK plus log concentration of this ionic, uh, ionic species, the ionized state divided by the COH because this is acid here. So an ionized state. So just put the values into this equation. Three, at 3.65 pH, the pK is also 3.65 plus log ionized state concentration divided by an ionized state concentration. You just simplify this. So log of I upon U is equal to 3.65 minus 3.65 is equal to 0. You further, uh, further simplify. So concentration of I divided by concentration of U is equal to anti-log of 0. So anti-log of 0 is equal to 1. It means the I is equal to U. Or we can say that at 3.65 pH value, concentration of ionized state, CO minus state of side group and COH proton state would be in equal concentration. Similarly, if say for example you want to calculate uh, uh, concentration of this ionized state at pH 10. So in the equation you will put pH 10, pK will be remaining same and you can calculate the relative concentration of in terms of fractions or in percentage at what percentage this would be existing at 10 pH and what will be this at 10 pH. So that's how you can apply henderson hasselbach equation to calculate relative concentration of ionic and, uh, un and uh, protonated or deprotonated state of any charged compound, any charged group. This one is small point to remember here uh, when you convert uh, ratio into fractions or percentage. For example, when you have A divided by B is equal to 1. It simply means A and B are existing in equal concentration. The, it will be 50% if you convert into percent or 0 0.5 for each A and B in fractions. But when this ratio is not 1, for example, this uh, ratio is say 0 0.5. So A divided by B is equal to 0 0.5, which also means uh, is equal to 5 divided by 10. So how do you calculate that uh, value of A and B in percentage or in fractions? So for this, the A value of A would be equal to, uh, you add numerator and denominator and uh, divide this number with that addition, whatever add the total you get. For example, this addition would be 10 plus 5, 15. So value of A would be 5 divided by 15. Similarly, value of B would be 10 divided by 15. So that will be in fractions. If you want to convert that into percentage, you multiply these values, whatever you get after dividing 5 by 15 or 10 by 15, you uh, multiply that with 100. So that will be converted into percentage. So 5 by 15 is equal to 0. Uh, 3, 4, 10 by 15 would be equal to 0 0.66. So it means the value of A will be 0 0.34 in fractions, B would be 0 0.66 for converting into percentage. So this will be 34% and this will be equal to 66%. So B will be 66%, A will be 34%. That's how you can do. Simply, if you, for example, you have uh, the ratio of A by B is equal to say 10. So A by B is 10. So simply you can say that 
uh, is equal to 10 divided by 1 you have numerator and denominator so you add both of them so value of a would be 10 divided by total of these values 10 plus 1 11 and similarly b would be 1 divided by total 11